Hello, viewers. Sriram here from Sri Learning. We have a wonderful success story from Fjord from Azerbaijan. Okay. It's really a great success story. I can see a good smile in his face telling that, Sriram, I'm relieved now after completing BMP. <laughs> it was pretty heavy on my shoulders. Now I feel so good. <laughs> So first, congratulations to uh, Fjord for clearing his wonderful certificate. Hard work, great things happen. I have always observed in the classes, he's a very quiet, good student listening, but asking the right question at the right time. <laughs> Let me share his certificate quickly before we go to him. Here we have his certificate. Oh, that's beautiful, right? Good to see his uh, certificate. Amazing, great. <laughs> Okay, uh, now let's hand over to Fjord to talk about his great success. Thank you very much, Shriram. Yeah, I mean, uh, I already thank you uh, in different, I mean, social medias, but uh, it's uh, one of the social medias that I have to uh, make my input to your team as well for your really uh, supporting us, I mean, guiding us all over this journey. That was a huge support from you and we managed by your motivation. Thank you very much. Great, great, great to know. So before we go there, um, uh, which country you are, what is your domain? What do you work for? Yeah, I'm uh, from Baku. This is a city of Azerbaijan. I have worked uh, for 15 years around in the oil industry as a project engineer. Our project was uh, dominantly predictive, but with some adaptive approach. Ah. I wouldn't say that it's like proper, it wasn't so proper project management, but we were, uh, we were welcoming client changes and made changes at the last time. Right. So it was, yeah, some predictive, but uh, some portion of the adaptive was right. there. Kind of little hybrid model, isn't it? You, you oh, have yeah. a major portion will be predictive, a minor portion would be adaptive, some concepts are there. Okay, great. So how come this PMP thought came up in your domain, in your country? Yeah, uh, actually uh, last year I moved to another company and I moved to the position as a project, a project manager. And actually I had a team uh, which I had to manage. So the project manager position was uh, new to me and uh, I didn't know how to handle it. I mean, how to be a project manager. So I had to go, I thought that it would be very good to get some details of project management, how it's proper, how it should be work. And so that's why I just strolled uh, LinkedIn. I saw your post with October batch. It was October batch when I noticed that I, I have to go and to learn something about project management. Uh, I get some information from Rahul about the schedule, timeline. And I thought to my understanding, uh, if I, would like to be a good project manager i will go and take your training and uh, that will be enough for me and uh, i will pass exam that was my initial understanding but rahul then opened my eyes widely that no no it's not like this you have to dedicate three hours per day during two three months for getting this achievement yeah and i thought oh come on it's not it's not possible three months of dedication no <laughs> yeah I decided October is not for me. I will plan it maybe in future. And uh, after in November, uh, I saw again uh, regarding the November batch and uh, the topics that you described that uh, the information that the exam will be changing next year. And this is the time to manage it. So I thought, let's try to be, to try to force myself for two months, November and December, and to finish with this project manager PMI. And I started uh, with your mentoring program in November, but unfortunately all this information, all, uh, all the stuff uh, wasn't uh, enough for me to, to go and for the training, uh, for the exam. I, in December, in the end of December, I saw that no, I wouldn't be able to go to the exam because I'm not ready. And after that, uh, I joined the January classes as well with new uh, pattern explanation. And I remember that in November, uh, what motivated me to go to the January batch 
I remember you told me that uh, anyway, you if you will not be able to do it in 2020, it's also doable. Anyway, it's doable in 2021. It's still the same book, some some additional concepts. Yeah, some addition. So when you came from October, I know you learned with us, and then you came for January. Um, how how much you found it? Is so much of change or some addition? What is your thought? Yeah, actually, it was uh, the, all the materials that I had to learn and uh, study at that time. Mm. From November from November to December, I managed complete uh, almost a uh, complete reader ninth edition. It was uh, two, I think, two chapters was left for me to complete and all these mock tests I had to do. So I realized that no, 2020 is will not work for me. Okay, okay, got it. But that's actually a good effort from you. You learned something for a while and then you started topping up with agile knowledge. That's really good. So um, again, we'll come back to the books a little in a little while. Uh, let's go to the exam, the main area. The, the 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 independence day <laughs> so okay so was it a center exam or a proctor exam yeah you know uh, in my country it's easier for center exams i yes. think there's not too much people that is going for this exam especially this year last year i saw i saw many people that were certified in pmp but this year uh with new pattern uh people want to know what is uh, what is expecting from that exam okay. exam so, so nobody ready to jump. You are the first person to jump. I think yes. I think yes, because I haven't seen it. And uh, I didn't schedule my exam till the five days left to, to, to exam. I scheduled uh, it. Yeah, I saw that there is still uh, vacant places in the centers. Amazing. Uh, in the several of days, several days to the, that I already decided that I will pa uh, take exam in a couple of days. I just booked my exam. Cool. And go. Cool, cool, cool. See, in India, uh, people are struggling to get a seat. So I will send people to Baku in uh, Azerbaijan, take exam there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You will, they will have a place. And I will say you another surprise. When I was in the exam, it was only me in the whole exam. <laughs> yeah, no okay. nobody in there was. I think I government. I think government of Azerbaijan is going to reach out to you. For you cleared PMP, the government is so honored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe there will be some uh, questions that how you did it, new content, blah, 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 this sort of question. Yeah. So actually it was uh, really helpful for me because uh, recent my uh, mock exams, uh, prep class exams, several of them were, uh, I, I, when I was passing in, there were some distractions uh, during exam. So, mm. uh, to have a situation in the overall uh, in the real exam when some nobody is distracting you help me That's perfect 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 so uh, let's talk about the exam now um i'm sure you went with the id card proof they made all the validation and they allowed you to go to the exam and they gave you a computer and uh, all set now the exam started so usually the first 20 questions will be uh, a little bit nervous ourselves, anxious, and uh, even though the normal question looks tougher question. So how was it for you, that first 20 questions or first 60 questions? Uh, I would say that I was very nervous before exam, before exam. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe two days I was really nervous because before exam you were taking a very high stress. But when I started to see the questions, uh, the expectation that I was from the uh, different students that passed exam that it should be very lengthy questions. But uh, I haven't seen so many lengthy questions. I mean, so I, I it was it wasn't uh, quite a little bit similar to prep cast questions. So it wasn't more than that. So uh -huh. for me, it wasn't like I was surprised that is it lengthy questions that the guys are describing uh, describing in the interview with you. So that made me calm down. Uh, first 60 question, I completed and I, I also managed to, to reuse some flagged questions as well. Uh -huh. uh, but I, I spent a little, I spent approximately uh, 90 minutes, yeah, 90 minutes. Uh, 
that's a decent time. That's a decent time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I spent 90 minutes, 90 minutes but uh, you know, I wasn't in a rush. I, uh -huh. I felt myself calm and uh, some questions were not lengthy. It was one uh -huh. to lines questions. So it was doable. I mean, not nice. so tough. That, that's positive actually, um, because last few candidates I'm hearing, uh, it, was, it is doable. Uh, once we get the concepts clearly, exam is getting doable. Great. And now <clears throat> let's move. Questions, when you say questions, um, where the questions having other, like a drag and drop options, fill in the blanks, multi-choice, do they give those choices for you? Yeah, uh, I had uh, somewhere six questions, drag and drops, uh, several multiple, uh, multiple choices of questions. I think it was maybe 10 questions like that. But what I want to add that uh, the questions that uh, I expected it to be more hybrid and agile, yeah, because the predcast that the questions that uh, we took in the breakfast it's more or less hybrid and agile questions, it's pure. But I would divide that uh, most of the first 60 questions that I have seen in my exam was more traditional approach. And then they started. And then they started to, to give me a hybrid more and then agile, pure agile, like, you know, transformation from a, uh, a predictive hybrid and agile, like the normal, <laughs> how you have to uh, transform from predictive to agile, that's the way they gave me the questions. Okay, that's impressive because the previous candidates, some people felt exam questions are lengthy. Also, they're mixing much of hybrid. So maybe the pattern is slightly different now. Okay, that's interesting. So um, in the questions, did you found people area questions are heavy or process area? Which area you found a little tough? When I say process, it can be scheduled cost management or it could be of uh, risk management. When I say people, stakeholder, resource, where you felt very heavy? You know, Fredcast uh, gave some good, I mean, uh, preparation in terms of people, I think. Uh, in terms of people, I thought that I, I was more prepared and the questions uh, concerning people for me were easier uh, when you compare to the process stuff. But anyway, I would say that uh, all the questions that I have uh, answered, I wasn't, maybe 10% of them, I was clear that I was sure that that will be the correct answer because 90% of the questions and the answers were uh, made up in this way that you are answering and you still doubt. Is it really the answer? Can it be like this? And at the end of the exam, I thought that, that I should fail the exam maybe because I, I, I didn't understand more, more of questions. Some of the questions I didn't even understand, but I just uh, started to use the logic in, in the answers itself. Yeah, but anyway, so my logic was correct and the answers then I understand correctly. Got you, got you, got you, right? So um, when you come to the 180th question, did you have some time with you or it's no. all over? Yeah, actually uh, there was 170 questions already I uh, completed and I had uh, two, three minutes uh, to go, <laughs> two, three minutes to go. And the rest, uh, maybe 10 questions, I only look for the answers. Tick, 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 the tick. Answer, yeah. Just, yeah, just more logic answer. Uh, I just ticked on, on that. Uh, <laughs> completed exam like this. And I was afraid that it will show me that you didn't complete. <laughs> Did you feel the confidence? Yes, my results are going to be good. Did you have that no. feel? When <laughs> no, I didn't. Have. I, I think that I will fail. I was afraid because there, is no, there was no confidence because the questions were all tricky. All tricky. The answers were all tricky because you don't know is it right, is it wrong. Similar true. questions, similar answers, very close. True, true, true. And this a screen popped up. Congratulations. So I, I'm sure you're top of the world by the time. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I closed my eyes so like like this. Yeah, and, and I opened congratulations. Is it really? I looked at it. Is it really congratulations? And after that, I like yes. At last, I can co come back home, and my wife will not just uh, argue to me that you didn't fail exam. That 
all these several masses I was away from home because you know. <laughs> See, since nobody in the center, you should have shouted loud, yay, and you should have made some dance moves there. <laughs> no, anyway, I thought that there's something to watch on me. Uh, on the camp, I <laughs> tried to be, to keep myself up, yeah. Uh, tried to be professional there. <laughs> Correct, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting to know. Great. Good to hear that story. Because I know if you are, you are with us for a long time, right? I know that the effort, what you put. I have seen you in classes in October. I've seen your classes in January. You are so consistent on listening to classes. Uh, one good habit I watched out with you is you do that. You write, you read. You have put a lot of effort into that. And uh, I'm pretty sure a few days before itself, you are PMP, right? But still, exams always have some bouncers. So we are a little worried about that area. Um, but again, it's a good effort from you. Now, let's go a little on the preparation side. I know you are a family person. I know you have a good job, which you have to take care. I, I don't think it's a work from home. You have to go to the field, right? Yes. So you have to travel, you have to do the work, you have to take care of a family. How do you manage your time? In the sense of you have morning hours or evening hours, when you read for yourself. Actually, I'm working from office uh, for the last several years now. I don't travel to offshore. Somebody, I am already out of that situation. So uh, I'm working from office. And uh, after I complete office work from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., it was my uh, rule that I will have to sit and study. Because as you said, that uh, I had a family, three kids, and no opportunity to study at home. So I just use the time uh, to stay after the work time and study all every day. I studied uh, at least three hours and reading the book and taking some exams. So it was started with written nice edition. And after I joined to January class, I started to reread uh, written tense edition again with a job concept. Nice. That's interesting. That's interesting. I understand that having a family, kids around, and, uh, yeah, no, and uh, it's, it's not possible. easy. It's not, that, that itself a portfolio management. <laughs> yeah, it's a big portfolio management. <laughs> Great efforts. Now, um, give some tips like, uh, which book you prefer? You liked Pembok or Rita, which was your favorite book? I actually opened uh, Pembok. Uh, I, I tried to start with spin booking after I joined in January batch and saw that some aspirants preferred spin book. Uh, right. I tried to read it, but uh, you know, uh, I didn't understand it. It's, uh, it's, not inter it's not interesting to read. You know, the book is it made like this that uh, it's not interesting to go to into details and you, you don't want to read it. You get sleepy. <laughs> Correct, yeah. But Rita is uh, another story. Rita is uh, the book that talks to you. Right. Uh, and it's interesting to read some concepts right. and some examples. So I thought that Rita will be the best book for me. Great, great. Good to know. Good to know. Sibab, uh, thanks, Piyar. I really like the way you said the story. I'm so happy. So happy to hear that you are the only person took exam PMP in Azerbaijan now. Um, <laughs> maybe somebody would have taken it, but still you are the one who took steps forward. Now, if you want to give some tips to the people who come from like industry like you, who may not have agile background, uh, can you tell that this exam is doable for them? What is your recommendation? Yeah, actually, uh, before our call, I spoke with one of my uh, colleagues regarding this exam here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And I uh, told him the same here. Yeah? So uh, if I manage to do it, if I manage to do it, then uh, you can do it and everybody can do it. It's, mm -hmm. it's just uh, regarding, it's just a matter of dedication. I'm a, I'm a person like if I feel I, I'm starting with something, I have to complete it. I cannot leave it halfway. So uh, if you will uh, dedicate uh, and plan your time and finalize what you uh, started, then it will be easy for you. Perfect, perfect. I like that positive note. I like your habit. You take something, you'll complete it, right? Yes. That's yes. That, I have to give the credit to you because I'm watching you for last uh, four months at least. You take something, you won't leave it until you complete it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah, exactly. 
that's a good nature that's a good nature great good uh, any more do's and don'ts you have for the people who are preparing yeah i think uh, regarding the do's just follow the written book i would say uh, mm. follow i follow the written book i read it once understand uh, the complex uh, the, all the concept and uh, after i took all this prepcast exams it uh, gave me another vision of agile mindset that really beneficial if you will take that prepcast uh, exams and uh, before exam uh, the last day before the exam i also go through the reader itself one i started four hours i spent i think to go through the book mm -hmm. and to be able to be able to be ready for the predictive approach questions mm -hmm. nice uh, nice yeah that's nice that's nice anything you think you want to say that guys don't do that don't waste your time there regarding don't waste your time don't waste your time just i would say just stick on your learning just mm. stick on if you started this just follow up on this that's a really interesting challenge uh, way journey yeah uh, mm. apart of that you know there wasn't any requirement from my management to pass and to take this exam mm. uh, there, there wasn't any motivation for go to this exam but uh, i mean the fact is i just wanted to learn some project management basics but uh, i thought that uh, the beginning it's learning and the end should be the uh, assessing that one and if nice. you assess yourself and you achieve that certificate and you manage to go through the exam itself and pass it that will give you more exposure to the new vision of their life that's nice. a really good experience quite impressive i like that quite impressive the way you are thinking is really good you want to learn something on uh, your career path which makes you a great person good super fiat that's really a good one and once again congratulations to you for your success and i think you have to give a credit to your kids and uh, your family who supported you all this yeah. month <laughs> yeah already i already promised them some bicycle some tree blah 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 let's see <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a stakeholder management you have to manage it properly <laughs> yes manage them and monitor them yeah? <laughs> okay great sip up uh, and uh, thanks a lot for coming up here <clears throat> to giving this interesting uh, video and i can see your linkedin is busy as i said some of your friends started reaching out hey what's this pmp can you explain <laughs> so things are going good Very good, good, super, Fiat, and uh, congratulations for your career growth. I keep telling to everybody, please implement what you learn. If not, within few months it will go away. So you have to start using certain things like resource handling, risk handling, or effective communication. Right? Even though we don't use a schedule and cost heavily, at least we can talk about communication, stakeholder, resource on a day-to-day -day job. That will definitely add value to our career. Right. Good, superb. Once again, wishes to you, and uh, thanks all viewers for watching this wonderful video. Leave your comments. What you found interesting with Fiat strategy of preparation, and it's some interesting tips given there, right? You can also leave your comments of what you like to listen more from the uh, successful people. We'll be happy to support it. Uh, give your like, give your comments. We are happy to take care. And that's the end of this uh, session. It's the end of this success story. We'll talk more in upcoming success stories. Thanks for for being here. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye.